In this video, we're going to show you how to configure a PTZ with your DVR. If you are watching this video, we are assuming that you have correctly wired your PTZ to your DVR. With that being said, if you have not already, plug a mouse into your DVR. Then, anywhere on the main screen, right click and scroll down to Main Menu. Left click on Main Menu then enter your username and password. By default the username is 68 and the password is also 68. So we'll enter 888-888. Select enter and then press OK. Click on the settings icon in the top right corner. Then click on pan till zoom in the bottom middle of the page. In this menu, we're going to configure the DVR to communicate correctly with the PTZ. You can see that we have various options such as channel, protocol, address, baud rate, data bits, stop bits, and parity. We're going to configure camera 1's settings, so we'll select channel 1. Then we'll refer back to the camera's user manual to find which protocol and baud rate we need to use for this camera. I have looked up the settings ahead of time and I know that the correct protocol for this camera is Pelco D. So we'll scroll down and click Pelco D. The address for the camera by default is going to be address number 1. If you have more than one PTZ, you're going to be assigning different addresses for different cameras. But since we're only configuring one PTZ for now, we'll leave the address as 1. The user manual for this camera says that the baud rate should be 4800, so we'll click the fly down and select 4800. We're going to leave the data bits, stop bits, and parity alone, and we're going to click save in the bottom right corner. Exit out of these menus by clicking the X at the top right corner, click it again, then double click on camera 1. Right click anywhere on the screen and scroll down to pan tilt zoom. Then we'll use the controls to move the camera.